ahead and, and dive into what's going on today. The biggest news of the day would be Oklahoma State. And this is the first of many that the NCAA has jumped on. Oklahoma State basketball gets a one-year postseason ban, and there's some other stuff, too. I think they lost, like, three scholarships and whatever else. Matt jumps in on YouTube, said, Mama said the interweb is the devil. Uh, yeah, I can believe that. I can believe that. Um, the, the Normally, that wouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Oklahoma State, you know, they hadn't been real good in basketball in quite a while. Mike Boynton is their, uh, is their head coach. They, they hadn't made a tournament in quite a while. So, you know, you're thinking, well, what does this even matter? But the issue here is that the number one player in the country, the number one recruit in the country coming into this season, enrolled at Oklahoma State. That's kind of a problem. Or not enrolled. I'm sorry, he hasn't enrolled yet. How's that? Uh, but he is committed to, he has signed with Oklahoma State. Uh, the kid's name is Cade Cunningham. Uh, he's got, you know, a family member that is... Uh, that's on the staff there. So, you know, obviously, big-time get. But what happens here? You know, if, if they've got a one-year postseason ban for the one year that he's going to be in college, does he get out of that letter of intent? Like, the coach has already come out and said, hey, uh, we're going to let him do whatever he needs to do. We totally understand the circumstances have completely changed. But... You know, obviously, what are they? What, what I didn't even know they were involved in any of the NCAA stuff. All of the schools that we hear about, we've heard Kansas over and over again, Arizona over and over again, Auburn over and over again, LSU over and over again. Like, we've heard all these schools over and over. So, I I didn't know Oklahoma State was well, everybody had had a problem. Oklahoma State, everybody had completely forgotten about it, right? But here's what happened Uh, they were one of the original four, they had a a, uh, an assistant coach that was arrested by the FBI. Uh, Lamont Evans is his name. And he was hit with one level one violation. So it was it was Oklahoma State, yeah. USC, yeah. Uh, Auburn, and I'm forgetting one. Uh, TCU or Creighton or something. I, I forget who it was. Uh, but USC, Auburn, Oklahoma State, and was it? No, it was Arizona. It was Book Richardson. Yeah. Uh, so it was those four initially. Now, this is the first one that we've actually had a ruling come down on. And yep. for this issue, they had a level one violation against Lamont Evans. Uh, he was sentenced in June 2019 to three months in prison for accepting between $18,150 and $22,000 in bribes to steer players from South Carolina and Oklahoma State to certain agents and financial advisors. The NCAA also hit Evans with a 10-year show cause penalty uh, during that period, any NCAA member school, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the NCAA also reduced Oklahoma State uh, scholarships by three during the 2021 uh, through 2023 academic years and imposed other recruiting restrictions. Uh, the Cowboys had previously self-imposed a $10,000 fine plus 1% of its men's basketball operating budget and reduced the number of official visits for three years. Uh, obviously, the athletic director at Oklahoma State not happy with this, et cetera, but we had one level one violation by one coach that was fired. He was arrested. He's no longer with the program, et cetera. Yep. And you get those penalties. You get three scholarships taken away. I thought that was pretty harsh. uh, That's what I found to be amazing with this one. I thought it was pretty harsh considering I didn't even remember any issue. As soon as you talked about the guy that got arrested, yeah, I do remember that was an Oklahoma State coach. I remember that. It, It lets you know. The NCAA, because they have this stuff in court documents, et cetera, they are going to hammer these guys. It, they, they're going to do this with Auburn. They're going to do it with USC. I would almost say that it will be a mirror image of exactly what happened here. And if you got this, a one-year postseason ban and three scholarships gone for one level one violation, Kansas is facing five level one violations. Kansas, I think, is in a whole mess of trouble. Now, if you are Cade Cunningham, just just off the off the top of your head, you got a, a uncle or a cousin, whoever it is, that's on the staff at Oklahoma State. If you're planning on going to the NBA after one season anyway, do you just stay on, like at this point, or do you do you yeah. get out of the letter of intent and try and go elsewhere? No, I I. I... 
I don't really know. I don't know the answer to that. There's a part of me that likes the idea of competing for a championship. And I mean, if you went to Oklahoma state to begin with, you were, you know, I, I can't really understand that unless you thought you were so good, you could single handedly take them to an NCAA title um, or at least a, a run. But I don't it, really know. Tough. That's a, that's a uh, tough yeah. question. It depends on what the kid really wants to do. Like if he, oh really well, yeah, hundred percent, it's going to come yeah. down to what the kid wants to do. Yeah. If he wants to compete in the NCAA tournament, obviously that is no longer an option in Stillwater. But yeah. if he wants to just prep for the NBA and get ready, you know, to go be drafted, now obviously he's at a situation where if he wants to go the G League route now, uh, that's an option. So you know, we can see what's going to happen here, but. It's interesting, to say the least, that this kind of sets a, a precedent. I know that we've talked about that before, and the NCAA doesn't always uh, stick to precedents. But it, in a situation like this where there are so many basketball programs that are about to go through this, and Oklahoma State was the first one, uh, you kind of get an idea that they are going to hammer a lot of these schools, and, and it's going to be ugly. It's There's going to be a lot of schools firing coaches and, and sitting out you know, tournaments and all that kind of mess. It's uh, it's crazy. Terry jumps in on Facebook and said, what's in that glass, Gary? Uh, this would be bourbon, my friend. And this is just well bourbon. It's, you know, it ain't nothing special. I think this is benchmark, actually. So, yeah, nothing crazy. $10 bottle, whatever. So, uh, let's go ahead and move off of that one. 